Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Farm Simulator 2017. This is our Let's Play series here on uh, Thornton Farm and today we are up to episode number 17. So if you could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So today episode number 17 what are we doing? Well as we left off uh, in the last episode we said that we would be doing uh, the uh, hay bales today. That is exactly what we are doing. We've got the uh, windrower from the store. This is the Kuhn GA9531, uh, I think. But we're down here at field 11. All the grass was cut in the previous episode and the... Uh, Uh, all, all tedded over so we made the hay today like I said is about the baling side of it so we are now going to bale all this up is it 95 yeah 9531 so there we go so we can turn this on lower it down off we go of course two rows at a time or thereabouts yeah, what this does, it will rake all of that uh, cut grass in together. Puts it into one single row, making it a lot easier for baling, of course. And as we've got a round baler, I believe, it's going to be some fun trying to stop the bales from rolling down the hill and through the bush and yeah, up into the uh, onto the railway line there. Certainly don't want to be uh, having to get them off there. But uh, yeah, today, like I say, episode number uh, 17 is about uh, uh, hay baling. Of course, we are making all these hay bales for the food for the winter months got some silage bells there, we will of course need some more. But uh, as long as we've got some hay, we're definitely going to need hay because there's no grass in the winter months. And of course we have sheep. So we're going to need to feed them something, of course. So we've actually got quite a good amount of uh, hay to bale up here. Sometimes you can cut these smaller fields and not get anything from them. Field it was relatively productive. I think we put a course of fertilizer on at some point as well. So if I turn that off, get ourselves lined up once again. Yeah, we are making some progress with our farm now. Money's still very tight. We're down to twenty-eight thousand pounds, mostly because we have leased these two bits of kit. We've got this uh, windrower leased today, but I think it was two and a half thousand pounds or thereabouts. And then, of course, uh, we needed to lease the tether. to tear the grass over, that was another £1,500 I believe. But not to worry, as long as we've uh, got the job done. That is the main thing of course. I 
what we will also be doing is uh, cutting the grass uh, in the uh, both the cow and the sheep fields the grass will be cut on those obviously uh, over the winter months all that grass is going to die off anyway so we might as well cut it and use it for a grass mix a grass feed right before it dies off so we've got uh, autumn to still get through yet yeah we've got the autumn months to get through when we do a lot of harvesting but uh, yeah winter will soon be upon us I think we've got what six days per season set up on this series so last little bit for the wind rowing just a little bit of grass there that could have been cut but uh, not to worry that on there we can uh, save that for grass feed as well and there we go so we lift that up turn that off we can now fold all that back away and we can go off and grab a baler like I said we've got the baler there but that will wrap the grass as well wrap the hay as well we don't want to do that because that of course will turn into a silage bell which kind of defeats the objective of what we've uh, wanted to achieve yes you want silage bells for the winter months of course uh, to feed your cows, but if you've got sheep, silage bales of course are no good. So we're going to drop this in here for the time being. We'll take it back to the yard. So we take it back to the shop at some point. Yeah, we've definitely got no uh, balers in here. take come over this side I believe we should have a baler in here somewhere uh, there it is hiding in the shed so according to this this has still got some straw in it that will uh, automatically be converted over to the hay it's still in there, I'm surprised it hasn't rotted away yet so yeah, here we are back once again to start with the hay baling slow it down, turn it on go once again oh, what's that one finished uh, so we want to unload the baler and there we go we have our first hay bale produced the same onwards and upwards as they say and that's 
where we need to be careful that uh, when we release the bell, what's happened to that? Are we not picking that up? Why well, wasn't that picking that up? Quickly head back there and uh, see what's happened. Yeah, for some reason I didn't want to pick that up. Carry on now. No, still not picking it all up. Did we have, I believe, trouble once before with uh, this particular baler? Sure, we did. Had uh, some trouble picking up. I'm not sure if it was this baler or a different one. Yeah, let's, let's do it again. Look. Hmm, curious. Still doing that. So, if uh, anybody knows the re uh, the reason why that's not collecting all that up, let us know in the comment section. And if, of course, you are watching this and you work for Giants, then uh, please sort the problem out. Pick it up, pick like half a pile up, but then uh, still pick up the rest of it when you go back over. Maybe it's uh, just too much for it to handle to go through. Let's try and drive. Yeah, it's even driving a bit slower. Still doing it. Very curious. So, that is that first row done. First two rows done, anyway. Now we can't uh, drive at all. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh dear, it's all going wrong. Let's take some of this off this end. Swung around there. Mm, still missing. Very curious as to why that is. Yeah, still missing it. I think we're going to end up going back over that once again. Keep going back and forth like this is making it very awkward. So I think we'll just run a row. Yeah, that's uh, very curious as to why that is doing that. So we'll run this row, and then we'll have to come back up it once again, which kind of defeats the objective of the wind rowing, to be honest. So yeah, if you know why that's doing that, drop your comments down below, let us know. this either today. Could it 
be a ground level issue. Because it's picked a lot of that up. Case that may be the cause, and maybe the problem is could be the actual tractor itself having the uh, pulling bar, draw bar uh, too high. Hmm. Some investigation, I think, would be required there. If, of course, like I say, you do know what the problem is itself, then uh, drop your comments down below and let us know. Yeah, very curious. Like I say, this is being played on the Xbox One. It's uh, a mod that you can download for free from the Mod Hub. The uh, tractor is. The baler itself is the... Uh, standard in-game uh, New Holland roll belt baler so unless there's a problem with the actual baler or a problem with the tractor I'm not sure but yeah I think that's going to be quite annoying I think we will stop with the baling for the time being because we are like I say having to go over that again can be uh, quite frustrating of course. So lift that up, turn that off for a minute. Oh, swing it around there. Lower it down, turn it back on, we'll go over once again. Maybe it's, like I say, just too much on the uh, piles for it to actually pick it up. Anything I can think. It certainly is annoying. Especially if you get a full bow, you're going to drop the bow onto the ground on that row. You're not going to keep taking the uh, bow off. So you wouldn't be able to go back over the second row, so it's not uh, like it's a realism thing. So we'll lift that up, I'm going to turn that off there. In fact we can just do this a uh, little bit here we missed, and a tiny bit here. But yeah, that's going to be it for today, I think. We'll do some investigations, let the uh, let you guys do some commenting and of course uh, yeah we can come back and discuss that matter much later on of course but anyway that's going to be it for today if you have enjoyed today's video remember to drop us a like and don't forget to hit that button, uh, subscribe button if you are new of course but like I say that's going to be it thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next one Bye for now.